So in this case, we have another typical exam question that we are going to consider. Theorem of uh, Pythagoras. We have a question that we are given in the diagram below PQ is equal to QR. We are given, we are told that these two, they are equal from P to Q and from Q to R. All right, this is our P. Q, the length of PQ, which we are given as 15, and QR, the wall of this QR, which is also 15. They are saying the length of QR, the wall of this is also uh, 15, as we are given that they are equal. Then we are asked to calculate the length of PR, the length of PR, this one. This is the part that we are being asked to calculate, the length of PR. So if we are to take a closer look, uh, guys, we are going to see that we were supposed to just have calculated this length of PR using our Pythagoras theorem because we are given a right angle triangle, remember? On a basic right angle, the triangle, which is given as A, B, C, the Pythagoras theorem states that C squared is equal to the square of the shorter side, the sum of the square of the shorter side, which is a squared plus b squared. So in this triangle, it was going to be impossible for us to use this because we do not have the length of SR, this one. We do not have the length of SR. It is missing. We do not have. So we are having two unknown. We do not have PR. We do not have SR. So for now, we cannot calculate PR. We are given 15 is for QR, the wall of this length QR, the wall of it. The wall of this line QR is the one that we are talking about, 15. So what if we are to calculate this length from Q to S, this one? If we have this length, then we have to subtract it from 15 because 15 carries QS and SR. They are part of 15. This 15 uh, that we are seeing, the 15 units. It is the sum of QS and SR. So as we need SR, this part of SR, so that we can calculate what? So that we can calculate PR. So let's find QS first because we do not have it. This one, QS. From where? From this right angle, the triangle that we are given, uh, which is uh, PQS. In this right angle triangle, we can be able to calculate QS because we have two sides that we are given. Remember, I say the Pythagoras theorem is used when you are given what? Two sides and you want to calculate the third side. So in this triangle, we have two sides that we are given. 15 and this 9. So we can calculate this QS. So let's have our, uh, okay, so let's say uh, using triangle PQS. So using triangle QPS, we are going to calculate side QS first, all right? So we are going to calculate the length of QS first. So this is what we are going to do. All right, so let us calculate this length using our Pythagoras theorem because we can see the right angle triangle here at S. So it follows that the hypotenuse, remember the longest side, the one that faces the 90 degrees, which is the 15, that is our hypotenuse. So hypotenuse squared, that's 15 squared, is equal to what? So let, we can even write as in terms of the letters, let's write first PQ, that is hypotenuse. So PQ squared is equal to what? The shorter sides where we have QS, so we're going to have QS plus what? Uh, PS squared. So PQ is our hypotenuse, just like C squared. So that's 15 squared is equal to the length of QS, which is the one that we need to calculate. We do not have this. We do not know this. This time we are given what? The hypotenuse. Remember on the introduction, there are questions that we were calculating of the shorter sides or the right uh, angled sides where we were given the hypotenuse. This is the condition. This time you are given the hypotenuse. All right? 
then PS is what? Is 9, that's 9 squared. So we have the hypotenuse and we want to calculate the shorter side. All right, so that's 15 squared, 225 is equal to uh, QS squared plus 9 squared, which is 81. So just like what we had on our introduction as we're solving, we have to take the 81 to the other side of the equation. So it is going to be a minus there. So that is going to be 225 minus 81 is equal to QS squared. So what is the difference between these two? Subtract, that is 144 is equal to uh, QS squared. Remember, you need to calculate the length of QS and it is having a square. So I told you guys to remove this square, just simply introduce the square root both sides of your equation. You introduce a square root, a square root there, so that was going to give us the length of QS. And the square root of 144 is 12. So that means our QS is 12 uh, centimeters. All right, are we even given this length? It is just five, just nine, This so it's just 12. So we're just going to consider it as 12 what? As 12 units. All right, QS is not the one that we need, remember? QS is just helping us to find the side that we need here. To say that QS, we have its length, we calculated its length, we know that it's what is 12, according to what we are given, it is 12 uh, units, this QS from Q to S. What about SR? If these two added together, they give us what? 15. So what about the length of SR? We can calculate the length of SR. Remember I say this, uh, the length of QS and SR will give us 15 and we calculated QS is 12. We just have to subtract it from what? Uh, from 15. So that was going to be 15 minus 12, which is three. So that is three units. This SR is three units. So if we have three, we have the side, the second side, because remember what? made us not to use this triangle before, it was because of what? Two sides were not given. We are supposed to use Pythagoras when we are given two sides. This time we are given. The last time we are not having two sides. So it was impossible for us to calculate PR. So this time we can calculate it using this triangle now working with this triangle that is remaining here so using what uh triangle psr uh using triangle psr now we can calculate the length of pr that we are being asked there we can now calculate that length it is a right angled triangle remember it is a right angled triangle so meaning to say P R squared, the hypotenuse, the square of it, P R squared is equal to what? The square of the shorter sides, which is the nine and the three, which is the P S and the S R, which is the nine squared plus uh, three squared. So that was going to give us the length of P R. All right. So let's have this P R squared is equal to what? Nine squared, that's 81 plus three squared, which is nine. So as we can see uh, that we are given these squares, then we can add, uh, that's a 90 there. PR squared was going to give us 90. Then we introduce the square root, both sides, the square root, the square root. So we can, we can see that we cannot determine uh, the square root of uh, 90 direct. The square root of 90. If we were to simplify this, it was going to give us 3 square root of 10. So if they say use the said form, you write it as square root of 90 or 3 square root of 10, as I was indicating. But they can ask you to two decimal places, depending on the instruction of the question paper. So to two decimal places, it was going to be 9,4868 and so on, which is 9, comma, so it was going to be 9,49. Uh, okay, this was going to change this into a 9 uh, units. So let's just use units since we are not given uh, the lens to say these are centimeters or what? Let's just say uh, the length of PR was going to be 9,4, uh, 9 units. So typical questions can be like that. 
typical questions can be of this nature where you are given conditions that you need to work from one triangle to another triangle. You are given uh, information that you need uh, from one triangle to another one. Then uh, use that in combination to calculate what you are being asked. Let's try to work out as many question papers as we can. We are going to see that uh, these questions are just a repetition. Uh, they do repeat one and the same like the presentation. So do revise as many question papers as you can.